Alright, hello everyone, welcome to another refill soda video. So today I'm going to be working again on my Hogwarts theme park. Um, I've been really thinking about this video for a long time. Um, and I almost like stopped making this series, but now I'm back for it. In fact, the last time I recorded was over two and a half months ago. So when I said that last video was old, it was pretty old. Also, some new things I got. I got a new keyboard. This one's not as loud. Okay, so the plan for today is we're going to be making the train station. So originally, I thought the train station was going to be over here. Just like be kind of in the city. But I just decided that to make it more realistic kind of with the book, I think. And in the movies also. I say we should make... A path that goes out of Hogsmeade over this area so in here I'm also gonna have like a little wall kind of so it's gonna be starting from here and then we're just gonna paint this like dirt rock all right this is good I found this ground texture and it looks pretty nice okay now that we have this path done we should probably start working on the main thing Probably just wooden planks will be good for this. Well, actually, no. How about concrete, right? Yeah, okay. And actually, I have an idea. To make this a little bit better, we can just slowly raise everything. It's like a couple of steps, you know? Just kind of go up like this. It would not be flat this whole place nothing never okay it's pretty nice all right there we go this is what i want now everything's a little bit raised we'll get rid of these support thingies later so the platform is going to go all the way to the end i'm going to have to raise this up probably paint this Nice. So let's get a primitive. Okay. It's gonna be kind of like a curb. And that's where like the train is going and stuff. So one of these. Nice. So then the length of the car probably about this. Looking nice so far. Now we're gonna make the train tracks. There are two parts to a train track. What I know about Lego building, um, <laughs> there is the inner part and the outer part. So, of course, we'll do the outer part first. Never mind, no, no, no. We'll do the inner part first. It's going to be pretty thin. Okay. Honestly, you probably won't even be able to see this these tracks but it's whatever that's not a part of this no nope. like clearly how is this our all right guess that's fine again no one really will be able to see this so i don't worry too much okay that should be pretty centered yeah So now we gotta make the bigger one. Pretty much like that. Okay. So it turns my, out my original idea was kind of wrong. So this is the new one. This is how train rails kind of look more. So let me adjust a little bit. It's a little bit better. Uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, people aren't going to see this. So, I'm not worried or anything. <laughs> okay, now I have successfully placed all the rails. Um, right, the next thing to do, though I also kind of failed it, I have to put, like, the wooden part under the tracks. 
Um, they're supposed to be like raised over these, but I forgot about that, and I don't want to change it. So I'll just make them. All right. Wow, I can already see this. <laughs> Even about the color, it looks so nice. So let's paint it all in. So let's start with the bottom part thing, the brownish part. Nice. Actually, right at the edges, there's going to be that stopper thing. Okay, this is surprisingly what I have for a train stopper. I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but like, there's nothing really else I can do about this stopper. Anyway, though, let's start making those wheels. So, let's get a cylinder. And it's going to be a little bit difficult. I need a cylinder with like an empty circle inside of it. Well, unfortunately, we don't have that, so I have to use this as my base for each wheel. Three hours later. Hello, everyone. So I eventually ended up doing all the wheels. I moved this back a bit because need space for the front of the engine and as you can see I have not done the spokes except for one um, I had to get really creative so I met the item limit so I decided to put pickaxes and then I painted them like darkest black and they look okay in my opinion finally I repeat finally I have done just the wheels. This this is just the wheels, bro. It took me this long. It's finally all over. So we're gonna make the base of the engine. Then I'm gonna add probably my favorite part. I should not save it for later. You'll see. Okay, now, probably my favorite part of all trains uh, well, locomotives I suppose is that they have this like rod kind of thing and it like connects the wheels all these wheels to make them all move and it's really amazing honestly it's, it's just so much fun to watch honestly this thing looks really weird right now don't worry about it Next, I need to add these bumpy thingies. Bumpy thingies. I don't know what they're called. Those like bumper bumps. These are meant to get bumped into, right? Bumped into. So for the thing that says Hogwarts Express on this, I'm gonna make an image, and it won't be now. Of course, I'll do it soon. I think I'll just make like a whole episode for all the images. Oh, the images right now. I'll do the Honey Dukes ones. Um, probably do the candies. And maybe windows or something. I don't know. And then. Um, and here I'll do all the Hogwarts stuff. Because it's just mo more than this Hogwarts Express. There's a lot of different things. So yeah, anyway, the next thing that needs to be done is a cylinder pole thing, kind of goes around this, so like this, as you can see, very thin, just like an accent, and it's not directly connected. And then it's just like part of the engine kind of. Actually, wait, let me quickly paint the red part. And the black part. Alright. That looks a lot better actually. Looks like the real thing now. Well, as much as I can get it, I <laughs> think, of course. So, um, also I just noticed 
But on the whole train, there are these little accents, if you call them that. Um, basically, going over, getting a dental train. So these, as far as I know on the red side, they turn kind of gold. Nice. So here now I'm making the whistle. Um, it's kind of got the basic shape for it, mostly. And now I'm adding all the details. That is a pretty nice whistle, if you ask me. Next thing. It looks like there's a bell around here. I don't know exactly how this works, but it's a bell. Thankfully, the game already came with a bell. Otherwise, this would be kind of sad if I didn't have this. Honestly, I could kind of live with it. It doesn't look horrible. Actually, Now it's a little bit thinner, and looks pretty good. So, I'm just gonna quickly cut to when I finish all the rest of these annoying details, but yeah. Now, I finished all these details on the train, well, the engine. So as you may notice, probably the big things are small, but a lot of small things. These rivets, um, this train actually, surprisingly there's a lot of them, especially on the black part of the engine. I don't know what's so special about it, but it has it a lot. And some nice ones around the wheels and other parts. And yeah, then I started on this, I believe it's the engineer's compartment. Um, but I'm hoping it looks good at the end. So yeah. Let's get back to work on this. There's gonna be windows on this thing, so I need to add a space for that. It's actually like literally my first time using glass in this game. So I just remove this to that. Okay. Alright, now we do have glass. So there must be like pipes connecting to this uh engine thing where the coal gets put in you know so you can just add these and like lift them up I don't know it kind of looks like an electrical thing now let's get a sphere perfect that actually looks pretty nice um just gonna make this one a little bit smaller get variety and that is already looking pretty sweet even without color, that's when it's a good sign. So, next. I suppose now we should probably get started on that little arch roof. Okay, nice. We already have a uh, simple and effective arch. The engineer has more stuff than just this. The engineer is gonna have like brakes, so we're gonna need to make some <laughs> more like throttle and stuff, you know. This is pretty nice. Um, actually super basic but <laughs> I'm already starting to kind of get it that this belongs to an engineer so let me quickly do some more research as I find out what else to add okay yeah there's yet more stuff to add so let's get to this so I don't know exactly what this is it looks like some sort of valve all right now we have some sort of weird valve um, it's just there, I guess. Oh, and of course, there's a whistle. So, let's just take this. 
Um, it's gonna be like a little rope, I think. Rope with some sort of handle. Then we need a sphere. Sphere, we're just gonna attach this to the end. So it looks a little nicer. And then we need the handle there. Perhaps though, wood. Yep. And then we need a fabric for the rope. Alright, that is very nice, actually. And, you know, so speaking of that whistle, I just realized I should probably add smoke coming out of this whistle. So, we just smoke emitter, and then just go one of these small ones. Pretty bright smoke. Okay, this looks pretty good. Every 10 seconds, this will go on for 3 seconds. So, there's like a break, and then the thing is like theoretically cooled again. So, let's put that in. It's looking very nice, actually. Okay, um, I'm just gonna say this looking nice. Honestly, you can tell it's for Hogwarts. Um, you know, proportions aren't exact, but I'd say, hey, yeah, yeah, that's definitely the Hogwarts uh, engine. And it'll look even better when I do add the images. Okay, hello everyone. So, no, the video does not end here. Basically, in order for this video to be easily watchable, um, I'm splitting it into two parts. Reason is, in my videos, I add a lot of details to make sure the audience always knows what's happening, what I'm making, so I don't really skip through things. And if I were to do that for this whole video, it would be about 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't want to skip over stuff. So basically, a part two video will come out to this soon. And yeah, stay tuned.